guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Margarita and if you're not new, hi, hello and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I've been wanting to do this for a while but I don't know how to like really even get it started. It's kind of like a, not a challenge but it is a, um, someone picks my makeup. Alright guys, before we get into this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to my channel and let's get into the video. Here's the makeup bag, right? Well, it's wrapped and makeup's in there. Whatever is in here, I have to use. I don't know how many products there are. I don't know what's in here. This is the Ulta bag. Um, but whatever's in here, I have to use. All right, so I don't know what there is. Oh, okay. So, oh, my forehead got itchy. Okay, so this is the Urban Decay Naked 3 eyeshadow palette. And the products that she picked, she did tell me that it's something that she would use. So we got Naked 3 right here. That's for some eyeshadow. Next thing here we have, oh, we have an Urban Decay Vice, Vice or Vice? Vice Lip Chemistry Lasting Gla Glassy Tint. Okay, it's in the shade Pink Slip. All right, next product is the waterproof urban decay volumizing mascara and the last product i have is the urban decay heavy metal glitter liner and this is in the shade cat call Ooh, hello we about to try this out i have an eyeshadow palette i have mascara and then i have some Heavy glitter and a lip gloss type of deal, or it's like a glossy, a glassy tint. So I don't know what that means, but we're gonna try it out. So these are the products right here: um, one eyeshadow palette, a mascara, and one glitter liner and a lip thingy. Okay, so I'm gonna go do my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay. So first thing that I am going to do is apply some eyeshadow. So this is the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna open it. Got it, hey. Ooh, look at that. So we got some browns. I have a purple right here. There's a white. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch them on my arm. That hurt. I'm not going to lie. So the first one is called Strange. This is what Strange looks like. Swatched. It's white. It's like a pale. So it's like a pretty good like base for it, if that makes sense. And then the next shade I have here is called Dust. Here is what Dust looks like. Oh, next one is Burnout. Next one is called Limit. That's what Limit is. Next one is Buzz. And then I have Trick. So Buzz is this one and then Trick is this one. So here is Buzz and then here is Trick. Oh, I see. I noticed that there's like a lot of like metallic shades in here. Okay, and then here is Mooner and then I have Liar. Here is Mooner, and then here is Liar. So I have Factory in this one, and then I have Mugshot on the next one. So here is Factory, and then here is Mugshot. And then the last two shades is Dark Side and Dark Heart. So here is Dark Side. And then here is Dark Heart. Wow, wow, that one's really nice. So these are the shades. Okay, so before I do anything, I normally um, conceal my eyes or put eye primer. It just really depends on how I'm feeling, but I feel like this is suitable. I am going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer and I'm gonna prime my eyelids. Fun fact, I've never used a Urban Decay Eyeshadow before or a lip gloss or their <gasps> where did this come it's because i had eyeshadow on my finger okay then that was something okay i gotta redo that oh yeah i forgot there comes like a little brush in here 
so that's cool so before this dries up I do want to apply a little bit of translucent powder not too much because I do want that sticky base to be there I'm gonna go ahead and grab the back of the lid of the translucent powder and just with this brush right here I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some product right here tap it and just lightly sweep it over and you can feel it where it's still like it's a smidge bit tacky but not too much I think we're just gonna do something really simple Something with pink, like pink, pink. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a fluffy brush from Moda Pro. And I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the shade light right here with the fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and run this like all across the crease. So I'm gonna go ahead and run limit. Did I say light? I meant limit. So I'm gonna go ahead and run limit into the crease. So what I can see, Limit shows up a lot better. On my eyelid, you can tell that there's pimic, pimic, there's pigment on the brush and in the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this out. Go ahead and pick up Limit again. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye. A few moments later. I never applied primer on the other eye. I just noticed that. I'll just redo it off camera. Okay, so the next brush I'm gonna grab is a ColourPop brush, it's called E1, and I am going to pick up the shade Mooner right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and run this in the crease as well, just to deepen up the color a smidge bit. This is cute. See, I'm not the type of person to really wear nude eyeshadow, but like there comes a day where it's like nude eyeshadows is like a go. You can't just like go walk around in like pink eyeshadow at an interview. Like you probably can, but there's times where you gotta look <laughs> professional. So the next shade I'm going in with is Liar right here with my finger. That is what Liar looks like. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it onto me eyelid. Oh, look at this. Hello. Hi. How are you? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and grab dust right here with my pinky. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this in the inner corner of the eye to brighten it up. It's just more for like an inner corner highlight. We love an inner corner highlight. Oh! We love. <laughs> so grabbing a precise brush, I'm just going to go ahead and dip into Limit here. And I'm going to go ahead and run that on the lower lash line. Okay, so I'm back. I applied a little bit of eyeliner. I used the Beauty, Beauty, I used the Beauty Bakery Lollipop Liner. The next thing that I'm going to try out is the Heavy Metal, the Urban Decay, Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. And this is in the shade Cat. So I don't know what it looks like. I probably should have swatched it before I did my eyes, but we're already here. Ooh, it's pink! Pink! So let me swatch it. I'm gonna swatch it right here. Oh my glitter. I'm looking at it and I'm like, do I want that or do I wanna take it? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just kind of just outline my eye. Ooh, hello. Oh, that is so glittery. Oh my god, that's cute. Maybe I should just do it like this one. I'm already here. I might as well, right? We love playing with glitter. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. I've never done something like this. Like, glitter in the crease and then glitter on top of the eyeliner. Mm. Okay, so the next thing I have is the waterproof voluminizing mascara it is called provision provision and this is the provision waterproof lashes are bigger blacker fatter Ooh. so they show you like the before so like that's the before and then that's the after we'll see so i'll show you my before that's the before you, you see how my eyelashes are before they're pretty long already but this mascara is too cute look at that it's like it looks like there's like glitter but it's not it's more like raindrops that are on there you know because it's supposed to like look like it's waterproof <laughs> why are they all hard to open that's what the wand looks like okay ready let's do this so when it comes to mascara i do like looking at the wands to see 
what will help me like I don't know I don't normally go with like thick wands like this because I feel like I'm very clumsy and I end up getting mascara all over me but I do like testing out different mascaras I have to focus on my eyelashes so this could take a while so with mascara that's waterproof I have noticed that it does keep your eyelashes um, curled more or like it lifts them up more and it stays that way so one coat of mascara look yeah it made my eyelashes look longer so here's the be not the before <laughs> here's the after so I'm gonna go ahead and let this one dry down and then I'm gonna put the other coat of mascara on this side now we're gonna do the second coat of eyelash wait what we're gonna do a second coat of mascara on the eyelash That's what I'm telling you guys. I am very clumsy when it comes to mascara. All right, so the last thing to try out is the Vice Lip Chemistry Lasting Glassy Tint. And this is in the shade Pink Slip. Ooh, so cute, so pretty. Look at this packaging. Hello there. Oh! I don't know why, but it, on, it honestly burned my lip a little bit. Like, it tingled my lip. But that's because I exfoliated my lip. Did it do anything? Okay, now I see it. I'm like, is it doing anything? All right, guys. So before I end this video, let's go ahead and talk about the products that I tried out. So for the eyeshadow, I actually really enjoyed the colors. They are gorgeous. They applied on easily. Like, I mean, they blended out. I didn't have any troubles. Um... <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. You know, it comes with a brush. What? <laughs> so the lip tint. The lip tint, I was kind of skeptical about obviously applying it. I'm like, is it even showing up? I don't even see it. It says it's pink and I'm looking at it and still looking at it, it doesn't really look pink. But it almost looks like, you know, if you're trying to go for that no makeup makeup look, this is probably something really perfect. The heavy glitter, the metallic heavy, heavy metal, the heavy metal glitter it is so gorgeous. I actually do not have anything like this. So this is probably going to be one of my favorites this year. And I'm very happy about it. And it's pink. Ah! And the last product is the Perversion Waterproof uh, Mascara. Uh, I don't know what I tried to say there. <laughs> it is the Perversion Waterproof Mascara. Personally, I don't know if I like it quite yet. Um, by first impressions, it's okay. It's not like the, it's not like, oh my god, type of mascara, you know? I, I'm very iffy about this mascara, but it completes the eye look, right? Like, look how my eyes, yes. All right, guys, so before you leave, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below which products you would get and which product you wouldn't get. Big shout out to my Thea for picking these products out. When she picked them out, I didn't get to see what products it was. Obviously, it was a surprise. So, yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah. It's not everyone's type of tea, you know? But. Oh, it's stuck on my lip. <laughs>